Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, anyways, uh, so guys, um, I'm in, I'm downstairs. I'm not in my room. Um, I just put, uh, Link into down for a nap and, um, if I'm whispering, it's because he just went down for a nap from four and I don't want to wake him up, but I have another pump. Oh no, my battery. Hold on. Okay. So I got a new battery, um, now we're actually... Okay, I've literally done this intro like 20 times. Welcome guys, um, I'm super excited because I got another pump um, and I am going to be unboxing the Belly... Bellyma or Bellyma? Bellyma? I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Hope I'm, hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Effective Pro with IDC, the independent dual control. So you get to have control over um, how much suction you want on each side. So I am like super excited to unbox this with you guys. Um, I did get this second hand, but the person who got it from me, the person whom I got it from, um, isn't like didn't use it she just like opened the box um so i just sanitized the box so everything else should be fine i haven't opened it so i wanted to open it with you guys here on camera and then give you guys my thoughts um it seems like super super cool um love the idea that you could actually have different suctions for different sides um, but this came in the mail and it's literally been waiting for me to unbox so i really wanted to do it today um, yes, I am wearing a sweater in April because it is so, so cold out today and it's ridiculous, but let's just get into this unboxing. So I did want to like look over the box a little bit. Um, it's, they kind of had this interesting little like spigot here on the side that says, when do I use Bellama? I think it says Bellama Effective Pro and it says you are pregnant and will have a baby soon. Um, baby is still in the hospital. Uh, you can use it to help build up your milk supply. You're returning to work. You're leaving your baby for a few hours. Your baby has difficulty latching. You are suffering from mastitis. You have not given birth yet, but your milk supply is low. Um, it's interesting. Stimulates prolactin hormones. You are experiencing breast engorgement. You are on medication and desire to breastfeed your baby once you have completed your medication. Oh, interesting. Um, super cool. It says it's a closed system, anti-backflow um, for working moms. And let's see, highly effective, ideal for working moms, minimizes pumping session time, powerful suction, um, effective left and right suction controls. That's really what got me like interested in it. Stimulates um, milk ejection reflex and comes with all these interesting parts. Uh, yeah, let's open it. Okay. You guys probably can't really see, but I will. So it's, right now, it's literally just a box inside. Oh, okay. Ah, so it looks like it's At least it's all packaged in there. All right, so this just looks like it's the parts. Let's take these out. Oh, wow, um, interesting. These are the parts. Um, I'm just gonna open one part so that we can see. Oh, wow, it comes with Oops, the bottle and the flange and this looks like a bottle stand which is actually like pretty big these bottles are huge I feel like this whole kind of contraption is pretty big um, this is the flange. I'm sorry I just looked at my camera and it had died so I'm not really sure where I left off but this is the flange and I just took this thing out of it this is like um, a stretchy flange <gasps> Wow that's super cool I love that um, this definitely isn't my size but cool this looks like the backflow protector yep interesting um i actually like these backflow protectors i kind of um wish that they would sort of everyone would sort of do that but it's not oh and then you do have a 
little duckbill here, which looks good. Or not duckbill, that's um, the membrane, I should say. So this is a four ounce bottle that it comes with. Um, let's just put these back. Interesting, and I think the flange size says 20, but it doesn't, it definitely doesn't look 20 millimeters, so I'm not really sure about that. Okay, and then this looks like just another one, and this one says 30 millimeter. I wonder if they're like the same size. Yeah, they look the same size, so maybe that's just for the membrane thing. I'll have to look at the directions. Oh, and these must be the bottle caps. Wow, these are huge caps. Like, this is huge. I feel like everything is just like super sized. And then you get some tubing. Um, let's look at the tubing. Okay, so the tubing is just stretchy. It plugs right in. I was just like looking in the holes. Um, it seems pretty decent. I'm not, I don't, I'm definitely not gonna be using the parts. Um, I'll probably just pack it if it's hackable. Oh, that's nice. They even give you um, some more membranes. Love that. That's awesome. Oh, the instruction manual. Let's open this up and see because I really want to see what size those flanges are. Looks like you only get one size flange. Um, let's see. Uh, so it's just giving you decoration. Decoration directions on this is like the quick and easy guide it's in a couple different languages super helpful um, and then this must be like the um, you know if you want to read for a while let's see I'm, I'm gonna see if it says anything about um, the flange size so let's see okay so it says know your nipple size the size of the effective pro breast shield without the silicone cushion which um, was this, this cushion. So this flange, so just the flange without the cushion is 27 millimeters. This is the standard size most women require. Uh, I don't agree with that at all because most women are like below a 21 millimeter. Um, okay, if your nipple is smaller than a nickel, you may be better with the silicone cushion which converts it to a 24. Okay, so I guess I see what they're saying. So you actually do get two flange sizes. You get a 24 with this in it, and then a 27 with nothing in it, which that's a huge, 27 is pretty big. Most people are actually smaller than what they think they are. Um, having the right flange size, blah, 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 contributes to this and that. Um, cool. Uh, I was gonna, s I wanted to see if it said anything about um, how long the pump is supposed to last. The pump and motor period of one year and, okay, so that's the warranty. Um, doesn't say, it doesn't say. So that's actually good that it doesn't have like a necessarily like a shelf life. Um, right. let's put all this back in this little box. Okay, so the next thing is the little, whoa, is the pump in there. And this looks like the power adapter. So the power adapter goes in there. Um, wow. This is what the interface kind of looks like. Um, it has like some pretty little flowers. I'm not sure if it'll have a charge. It doesn't. Let me um, plug it in here. And we will give it a shot. Because I just want to see kind of like what it sounds like um, if we plug it in pretty decent length cord here um classic oh looks like the left and right are right there awesome i actually do have to pump so i probably will be using this pump right after i film which is fun so it doesn't say anything about this pump being rechargeable i don't think it's rechargeable i don't think so all right let's turn it on so now it's in stimulation mode, it says. 
Oh, okay. So these are the increase section, decrease section. So it looks like it starts out at one. And then I think when you get your milk starts flowing, you put the let down button. Pretty decent. And then I think, oh, that's how you change for left or right. You click this little DLR button and then you can either up it or change it, go lower on your right or go higher. Wow, this is super cool. Hmm, it's not too loud, but it's not like really quiet. It kind of sounds like the suction may be um, a little bit on the more pulling side instead of um, the, uh, what is the word? Vibration side. All right, so I do want to plug these in and see. So this is like the tubing. Okay, so I need two, I need two pieces of tubing here. So I will actually have to use that tubing, but I think in order to just hack it to use my Medela parts, what in the world is this? Hold on. Mm. Okay. They have this weird glue. Ah, okay. I'm not, not liking how this is packaged, but that's fine. Wish I had scissors, but I don't really feel like getting any. Okay. There we go. Ugh, I'm having trouble. Okay, so it looks like they both go into this side. Ooh, this is some really long tubing, which I love. So my hack is I'm just gonna rip these off. Yep, and now um, it's hacked. So I can just put them, take one of my back flow protectors right here and just put it right into this. Get the other one. I've actually been using, whoa, I've actually been using um, my Spectra Pump. I've been trying some different, uh, so now it's hacked, yay! I've been trying some different settings on the Spectra Pump to see if I can get it to do something different. Um, but yeah, so this is it. Um, I'm actually going to start pumping in a couple minutes, so I will give you guys my full kind of review on the pump in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, that's all that was in the box. Um, it's pretty minimal actually of parts that come with it, which I mean, I don't really hate. Uh, I do kind of wish that they had um, more flange sizes. I'll link the pump down below for you guys to check out. I think that this, that this version actually might be one of the later versions. I think there's a newer one of this one that has like a touch screen, um, but I feel like it's generally the same. Uh, I just really wanted to try a pump that had the two different suctions that you could do for each side. My left side always seems like it needs more suction than my right. So I'm interested to see if this will actually help. Um, and yeah, like it, it seems pretty cool. Um, I got this off of the Marcy app. So I'll also link that down below. They have a lot of like secondhand pumps that you can buy that um, either are open box or like non open box or just like people, you know, used the pump once or twice. I think as long as somebody has used it and the pump is um, a closed system pump, which means that it has these backflow protectors that you're completely fine because milk can't get into the pump. Something like the pump in style, like that is not um, a multi-user pump because they don't have backflow protectors. Uh, the milk can actually get into the pump. But anyways, enough on that, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this little unboxing. And um, if there are any other pumps that you guys want me to review, please comment them down below and I will try and get my hands on them. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next.